Well, I'm here towards the end of the first day of uh, Third Sector Social Media Convention with Steve Bridger, who was one of the uh, keynotes, giving us a great start to the day. And uh, Emma Crossan, I just kind of interrupted your conversation and said, let's turn it into an interview. But I did want to get uh, one line in, Steve. Uh, today you said that we have organisations that uh, are built uh, for visions, but not for connections. Can you expand that? Well, I was following on from what Alison and Fine had started the day off with, talking about a lot of our big charities as uh, seeing them as fortresses. And uh, so I had a, a image of a, the, the old style organogram, and just saying that you know the big charities. Twenty years ago, when I worked for Oxfam, we had divisions. We called them divisions, and that's still the case in many big charities. And we design for divisions. Not only do we have silos, we have divisions. Rather than designing for connections, that appears to have resonated with a few people. And and what were you hearing that, that really chimed uh, for you? Well, the whole idea of social media being connective tissue and being able to make people able to relate to one another around what they believe in or what motivates them rather than what their role or job description is. There's a softening in terms of the way, and again, Alison talked about the sponge-like metaphor. There's a softening in terms of the way we think about how people get together and that they relate from the heart and not just from the, the page. And that, I think, really came through. Yeah, it's interesting. I think a lot of, a lot of the sessions at this event are about social media and, their, and using it as an outward communication to reach supporters. And what we're, kind of, we're saying is also transformative inside the organisation organization too. What's key, I think, is the, the way we actually look at the web, I think, needs to change from kind of a static web of, of, of pages. I'm making a generalisation, yeah. but kind of a relatively static web of pages and, and campaigns created from the centre, from headquarters. And we need to think of it more as a kind of a web of flow, where the charity needs to be in that flow constantly. Now, that necessarily means you can't rely on the one or two people, however big your digital team is, you can't rely on those, those people to do all that work, to funnel all that conversation through just that handful of people. It necessarily means uh, allowing more of your staff to use those tools to, to make those connections, something that's visceral. Something visceral. So how do you find it possible to engage organisations with that vision? Because it's probably pretty tough for a chief exec who isn't necessarily using social media and who goes, well, we need to improve our website to move them into a rather different way of thinking. I think every organisation is different. I mean, the whole idea of a social culture is that it's distinctive and that people feel that they're belonging to something that they can really identify with. So the first thing is, well, what's the case for this for us? And how can we use what happens in terms of incoming interest and attention, all of that resource which we've never really tapped before, to start to create ripples within the organisation so that we can join all the dots inside as well as outside. There's a huge, I think, challenge, and we were talking about it with, with AGK earlier, how incoming, inbound marketing, the response that you get from social media when you're successful, it starts to ask parts of the organisation to think about how they do things in a new way. So how, how does HR start to recognise the contributions that people are making or fundraising or volunteering and, 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 and really start to involve this participation and the potential of that participation and each organisation doing it in their own way will have traction that will be appealing because they do it on a differentiated brand base. And, and Steve, you must have helped an enormous amount, number of organisations in recent years. What are the ones that really stick with you that you well you I think what, one of the interesting things is I think a lot of charities are using social media pretty effectively but are, again around specific things, campaigns as that campaign thinking I'm not sure if there are many other than the kind of net rootsy type charities like, like Child's Eye Foundation we've just had a fantastic uh, workshop with Child's Eye other than that there are you know, pockets of innovation but to get a, a, a well-known charity to, to fully adopt the openness, transparency, participation, that you know, the kind of behaviours of, of the web, I'm not sure if we really... We've had lots of conversations, but you know, we certainly haven't cracked it. What is interesting, I think, uh, to me, and it's something that I've observed over, say, the last year or two, and that's something I mentioned this morning, was 
I just get a sense that people are now having more of an affinity with, or less of an affinity with a, with a charity brand, and more so with the people who work inside that organisation. Just and Twitter, uh, more and more people within charities uh, using Twitter. Now, a few people have tweeted today that even some quite well uh, known charities, you know, maybe a third, quarter of their staff are now on Twitter. That's a really interesting development. Um, it's getting messier, you know, but but in a in a good way. <laughs> So it's not so much you need a new website, it's you need to have staff that you will trust and encourage to be part of that flow and part of that conversation. You certainly, obviously you need your website and you want, you want people to visit your website, but um, I know a lot of organisations who are uh, paying a lot of people to write content for a website that might, be, might get viewed, you know, a dozen times a month when really they want to begin, I think, to to grow those people into new sorts of roles like community managers or where they can you know, interact and, and, and connect with people in a, sli- in a well, not slightly different way, a, a, a you know, really, really different 